What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. And we have gathered here today to see if five suits and three tops actually make 75 good looking suited outfits. Why? Well, you probably have seen this reel over the last summer a whole bunch. Every man has to own a black suit. After you get a black suit, there's five suits you need to get. Black, navy, gray, brown, tan. You get those five suits, you get yourself two white shirts, get yourself two cream color shirts and two powder blue shirts. You can make 75 suits with those combinations because every last one of those pants go with every last one of those jackets. Every last one of the jackets goes with every last one of the pants. You cannot mess up. So I sat there and I asked myself, does this actually work. To find out, I've got five beautiful brand new wool flannel suits from Suit Supply. We got three tops. And yes, I actually did try on all 75 outfit combinations to help you guys figure out if this is something you might want to do to see whether it works or whether it doesn't. Now, I think it's important that we know where this audio actually came from and who said it because we're gonna wanna check out that person's style a little bit. So, this audio is from a commercial break during Family Feud. Steve Harvey said that to the audience. He does this sometimes and then those video clips get put onto YouTube and eventually they end up on social media and someone else is doing a reel to them. But Steve Harvey is also a very classic guy. So when he said what he said, we need to consider a couple things. One, he's talking about your average classic wool suit in a classic fit and then we also have to take into consideration his complexion when we're looking at the colors that he recommended because a powder blue or a cream colored shirt might not be the best option for someone as fair skinned as myself and maybe you as well. So right off the bat, it's important to note that all the influencers that I've seen do this trend actually have a very different style than Steve Harvey. So let's explore if the more modern interpretation of the suits that we're wearing, most likely if you're watching this channel, and what Steve Harvey is wearing, if that actually translates. So a few changes that I've made for this video particularly is that I got five flannel suits because we're in the fall winter season now. But the main note to consider here is that you wanna to stick to a fabric that looks similar. It can get even more difficult than what this already is if you have a flannel suit and then a normal wool suit, different textures, mixing can make this even more Peculiar. Second up, we're adding some pattern in one suit. Um, my brown suit is actually a brown houndstooth suit. As you can see, I'm wearing a black double-breasted to see if this silhouette is gonna make this any easier or more difficult. And then in terms of the tops that I just mentioned, the powder blue shirt is now a navy zip polo for me and the cream shirt is a tan turtleneck. Those are two things that I wear often, especially in the fall and winter, instead of a dress shirt. So this is a fallification, if you will, of the entire concept. Now let's look at the actual suits. As you can see, we've got the first slim fit, double breasted, black flannel suit on my body already. Then we've got a nice light gray flannel suit, also slim fit, single breasted with a single pleat on the pants. Just to show you, these are a flat front pant on the black one. Then we have the navy suit, single breasted yet again, and then a double pleat on the pants. So we have a little bit of variation in the pants as well to see if that has any effect on the looks. And this might just generally be my favorite suit here, a nice dark navy suit, which might be the first, you know, disagreement I have with Steve Harvey, I think the first suit you need to get isn't necessarily a black one. I would probably opt for a navy one because I think there's a little bit more flexibility, but more on that later. Then we've got the tan flannel suit. Here we have a flat front pant once again, double breasted. This is the only jacket that doesn't actually have a patch pocket. We have jetted pockets on the left and the right, and then this is actually a three button rollover jacket. So this jacket is a little bit different. Let's see if that makes any difference. And then we have the brown suit, which I said for me is a brown houndstooth pattern suit. We've got a single pleat on the pant and we've got the classic two button with the patch pocket. These are all Havana fit suits. The Havana has gotta be by far my favorite suit supply silhouette. Those suits always look exactly on point. I added a two inch cuff to all of the pants and like I said, we have a generally a lot more slimmer a fit. Now suit supply, I'm sure you guys are very well familiar with the brand by now, but um, I had an incredible experience just getting all these suits done. It was seamless, it was straightforward, it was easy to find all these different colors that I needed for this video particularly. They didn't sponsor the video, but I did go to them because they are my go-to resource when it comes 
comes to suiting and thankfully they agreed to help me put this video together for you guys. And it just so happens that they actually recently launched a tool called the Look Builder, which is basically what we're talking about here today in action. You can head to the website, click on the top left, click on Look Builder. You can then choose a model, Caucasian, African, or Asian, so you feel like it's actually you in the outfit, at least somewhat, and then click through the bunch of different options from shoes to pants to top to jacket and see what works best for you. So you could just recreate this entire video by yourself with the Suit Supply website, but you don't have to because you guys got me. So now let's talk about tops. I've got a white shirt underneath here, crisp white shirt from Suit Supply as well. The Traveler fits amazing, looks amazing, is fairly wrinkle resistant. And then, like I said, we have the tan turtleneck on my left and the navy zip polo on my right. These two are replacing the dress shirts. I think they're a lot more fall and I think they're a lot more, well, they work a lot better with my complexion, that's for sure. Last thing before we get into the outfit, let's talk about accessories. We've got two ties, a brown tie and a black tie. To go with the white shirt and depending on the overall color scheme, that's something that's interesting, something that Steve Harvey doesn't talk about. He also doesn't talk about footwear. I opted for two pairs of Chelsea boots, again, fall, black suede, and brown leather. Now, the moment you all waited for, 75 outfits. Let's start with the 15 full suit combinations. So no suit separates, the five suits with the three different tops and see what that looks like. And for that, we're sitting down in front of the computer because I need a screen. I recorded all 75 of these outfits. I did not remember them. I need to look at them with you guys. So, like I said, let's get started with the full suits. The first one we have is navy and the navy suit I think looks excellent with all three tops. With the navy zip polo, quite obviously that's gonna work. Um, added brown Chelsea's for that. With the tan turtleneck, it looks absolutely amazing. Brown leather Chelsea's once again, and a very classy, classic look um, with the white shirt and the brown tie. Now the gray suit, I think overall is a little bit harder to pull off, and this is arguably the only full suited outfit I don't love. Um, I would wear this suit with a pair of white sneakers, maybe ditch the tie. Um, I think it's a little high contrast, but, but anyway, here we have the gray suit um, with the turtleneck in brown and then the brown Chelsea's, which I think looks really nice. And then the navy polo, once again with the brown Chelsea's, I think that's also not a very strong look. I think a light gray suit in my head just looks really good with white clean sneakers. Then we've got the taupe suit here, so the, the tan suit according to Steve Harvey. Um, we have it with brown leather boots and then the navy zip. I think that looks nice. Um, it looks best with the turtleneck or, or with the shirt and tie. Both of those are really, really strong. Moving on to the brown suit. So here the lighter brown tie is standing out a bit more in a contrast, a, li a lot lighter, but it looks great with the brown Chelsea's. Then we have the turtleneck once again, also looks solid. And then once again, that navy zip, it works, but isn't quite that amazing. Now I wanna point out that I swapped out the navy zip polo for the powder blue shirt. So I wanna at least mention once that even if this was a powder blue shirt, I definitely don't think that this will look any better. The black suit and the navy uh, polo kinda works because it's just a hint of navy, otherwise an all black outfit. Um, I like it a lot with the tan. I, you're gonna see that in a little bit. I like the black a lot when it's kept with just earth tone. So here with the brown boots and the turtleneck, I think that looks really, really good. And then we have a classic combo. Um, here it is, un unbuttoned. I wanted to keep the double breasted open just so we can kind of continue the same vibe, but uh, it looks a lot better closed as you've seen the whole video. Now let's move on to a few suits separates that I actually enjoyed the combination. The first one we have is a pair of navy pants with black Chelsea's, the black jacket, and the tan turtleneck. I think that looks good, I don't really know why. Navy and black is something that can be very tricky, um, and a lot of the looks that I dislike is with the black pieces. I think combining black is a little tough. So like I said before, my first disagreement with Steve would be that the first suit shouldn't be a black suit because I think you limit yourself in terms of the uh, flexibility, but this look I personally liked. So this works really well, navy pants still. Now we have just earth tones. We have the taupe jacket with the tan turtleneck and the brown boots that looks really clean. Similarly here, we are adding a lighter color up top and keeping it dark on the bottom with the navy pants still. We have the light gray jacket and then some brown tones. I think this works well, especially buttoned up. Now this one I liked too. Um, we have the gray pants on the bottom now 
and the same taupe jacket up top with the same accessories and shirt. But I think it gets a little tricky with the gray pants. Having lighter colored pants and then darker uppers gets really, really weird. We'll talk about that in a second, but as long as it's kept light, we're just adding a bit of achromatic um, with the gray pants in there. It looks really good. Also with the turtleneck um, and then the darker option for the uh, jacket, this looks really nice. Also because the houndstooth, the pattern in the jacket is actually aiding to this working because it's a dark brown with a little bit of a gray. That's the colors of the pattern, so this is why this works well. This also does, I just said I don't love dark tops with the, with the lighter bottoms, but this one still works for me. We've got the double-breasted black with black boots and the tan. And even here we have lighter pants and then a darker top. We have the taupe pants with a double navy combination. Obviously the navy zip underneath the navy jacket is always gonna look great. So this is really a two-tonal outfit. Black, like I said before, works well for me if it's just in earth colors like we did here with the taupe and the tan turtleneck. And then pretty much the same outfit, but now with navy. I think with navy it's a bit softer. With black there's a lot more contrast and it's a little bit more, even more experimental. There's many more looks I like, but I wanna jump ahead a little bit. We got the black pants with the tan turtleneck, the brown houndstooth jacket and the brown Chelsea boots. Once again, black with earth tones, just with earth tones. I think looks really, really good, especially if the black is in the pant. So it works with the shirt and tie, but adding a navy zip in here is gonna look a little crazy. So while we're on that note, let's jump to my dislikes because that's really the focus of the video. Which ones are there any that don't work? So. My first dislike that I've got is navy pants, navy zip polo, black blazer, and then the black Chelsea boots. I think this just looks weird. It looks, it looks way off. And even if that shirt was powder blue, once again, this would not look any better. Black gets really hard to combine in general. Here we have the lighter colored pants with the black jacket again, but with now the lighter top, it just, it, it, I, I don't love it. I think there's something off about the balance. Also this like this, if we just swap out the shirt and tie with the navy zip polo, looks, looks messy to me. This is all over the place. <laughs> We've got a gray um, pant with a navy top and then a taupe jacket. The fact that the taupe and the gray are both lighter colored, like I could have opted for a darker gray, but I thought the lighter gray was gonna give me a bit more flexibility. Um, here I think it just looks weird. Maybe if we swapped out the shoes, it would work better, but like I said, for simplicity's sake, I kept it to just those two boots. This is basically the inverse. We got the gray jacket now with the toe pants. Don't love that either. Here we've got black with navy and tan. That's what I keep pointing out. Like I like black with just earth tones. Um, this does not work for me. Same thing here, the, the gray and the taupe just doesn't work. Even when we dress it up a little bit more and, and go for the uh, shirt and tie combo. This is borderline. We've got the taupe pants and then uh, otherwise what I'm wearing right now, uh, maybe with the jacket buttoned up, but I, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan. Uh, and then this is, is weird. Granted, we're testing pattern on purpose. Um, if this was a solid brown pant, it probably would look better, but even then not great. And then this one, I, I wanna throw this in here because I think this is an interesting one. I'm not sure if this works or it doesn't, but we've got the black pants and navy polo with the taupe. Ah, could be kind of weird though, just looking at it now. And then finishing up on basically the inverse of the first look that I disliked. Instead of navy pants, we have the black pants. Instead of the black jacket, we got the navy jacket with earth tones. I don't think it looks all that great. So, I would argue that Yes, this is generally a good idea. It gives you many different possibilities, many different options to put outfits together, but I don't think, I personally do not think that 75 outfits actually work. We considered everything that we needed to, we kept the fit similar, we kept the colors right according to what Steve said. We kept the fabric aligned and uh, we kept it minimal with the accessories but still playing into the color scheme. So if it was more brown toned, we had brown accessories. If it was achromatic, we had the black accessories. But I don't think it quite works. If you're interested to see the entire 75 outfits, I'll plug them at the end of this video so you can just look at those with a little bit of music. But um, that's it for me. I would love to know what you guys Think. I would love to know your opinion on this entire matter. Do you agree that not all 75 work? Do you think I should have done something differently? Um, we kind of left out, you know, what does it look like when you add a coat and what if you have more shoes or ties as options? But I'm excited to hear you guys' feedback very much and don't forget that you can always head to the Suit Supply website and try some of those things out for yourself. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here until now and I'll see you guys very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, 
stay dapper. Bye, guys. Cold like zero degrees I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast Revolutionary guy, let out the streets Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the Wake up, get out the sheets We came for one man, forget my peace You take the west, I'll take on the east I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the Let out the, let out the, let out the. Yeah, I hear him chat